Welcome to all of you. In this model, we are going to see the basic knowledge of operating system and its functions. So, operating system. What is operating system? It is a system software which acts as a bridge between the user of a computer and the computer hardware. So, it only acts as a bridge between the that is interface between the user and the computer hardware. So, operating system is the in interface between the user and computer hardware and it is controlled the execution of all kinds of programs in the computer. So, with the operating system, the computer is useless. Need for operating system, it only manages all the software and hardware in the system. Most of the time, there are many different computer programs running at the same time. They all need to access the computer CPU, memory and storage. The OS only coordinates all these to make sure each program gets what it needs. The need of OS is basically an interface between the user and the hardware. So, it only manages all the things. So, operating system, it is also work as a translator while it translates the user request into machine language that is binary language, processes it and then send it back to the operating system. Again, operating system converts processed information into the user in readable form. So, it acts as a translator between the user and the computer. Translate machine language into high level language and high level language into machine language and so on. So, uses of operating system. Starting computer operation automatically when power is turned on that is booting. In the booting process it is mainly used and then controlling input and output devices. So, it controls all the input output devices in the computer. Manage the utilization of main memory. So, it only manage the main memory and then providing security to user programs. So, OS only perform all these things. And major functions of operating system, first one is CPU and memory management. The main thing is main memory management, that is RAM, that is random access memory. That is management of primary memory or main memory. Main thing is multi-programming. OS only decides which process will get memory, when and how much. And then IO device management, that is keyboard and printer and so on. That is all the input output devices. OS only manages device communications via their respective drivers. And then disk management, that is hard disk checking. It will check the hard disk. And then user interface, already we know it between the user and the system. That is interface between the user and the system. And then security management, that is data protection. By means of password and similar other techniques, it prevents unauthorized access to programs or data. So, because that is, it prevents unauthorized access to programs or data, okay. And then prominent operating system, that is important OS are Unix, MS Windows, Linux, iOS and then Android. In this iOS and Android are mobile devices, that is mobile operating system. We divided the operating system into two, proprietary and then open source. In this, proprietary means it is a closed software or non-free computer software. It is non-free. Under this, Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac OS and then Apple iOS are proprietary software. It is proprietary OS. In this, Apple iOS, that is I Apple iPhone OS are come under the mobile. It is used in the mobile device. And other thing is open source free license, that is it is a free software under this Unix, Linux and then Google Android. In this Unix are multi-user OS, Linux is Unix like operating system and then Google's Android, it is the Linux based OS designed only for the mobile devices. Nowadays all the smartphones are work under this Google's Android other than Apple iOS. Apple iOS only uses the Apple iOS operating system, that is Apple OS mobile device. So, now we know what is operating system, need for operating system, uses of operating system and then functions and then we see the prominent operating system. So, now we get the basic knowledge of operating system clearly. 
So main thing without OS a computer is useless. It is the system software. Thank you.